Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lag on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn something about exception handling in C++. So when we write the programs, you know, there might be a possibility of some runtime errors that are going to occur. For example, let's say if you have a complex program and where you need to work with the databases, there might be the possibility of losing the database connection, you know, when your program is running. And if you talk about a simple example, you know, there might be a possibility of divide by zero error in your program. So when these type of exceptional situations arises in your program while running, you know, your program is going to misbehave. For example, if the divide by zero error occurs, you know, your program is going to crash or, you know, if the database connection is lost, then, you know, there might be the possibility of the corruption of data in the database or, you know, the program may not update some very important informations, you know, something like that. So as a good programmer, we don't want our program to crash like that. So what we want is if any exceptional situations occur, then we want to handle that situation. Or if the database connection is lost, we want to notify to the operator that, okay, database connection is lost, do something. Or if the divide by zero error occurs, then we want to tell to the user that, okay, you are trying to perform divide by zero. So please change the input, something like that. So we can say that the exceptions are nothing but the runtime anomalies that are going to occur when your program is running or when your program is executing. And in C++, we can handle this kind of runtime anomalies using the exception handling mechanism. So we can say that a C++ exception is nothing but a response to an exceptional circumstance that arises while a program is running. So when we use this exception handling mechanism, we are handling that particular exceptional situation or, you know, we are passing the control from one part of a program to another part so that our program is not going to crash or misbehave. So in C++ for exception handling, we're going to use three keywords, try, catch, and throw and also the C++ allows some standard exceptions and they are defined in the exception header file. I have included that header file to my program, but you know, for this program, this header file is not needed, but you know, I just included it and from the next tutorial onwards, we need to use this header file. All right. Now we were talking about the throw, try and catch keywords. So in C++, we can throw an exception by using the throw keyword. So when we know that there might be the possibility of some exceptional condition in our program, we're just going to throw an exception and then the catch keyword. So the program is going to catch the exception, which is thrown using the throw keyword and it's going to execute some exception handler functions or some uh, exceptional handling code will be executed. For example, let's say in our program a divide by zero error occurs. At that time, we're going to throw the exception that divide by zero error has occurred. So by using this catch, we're going to catch that thrown exception and we're going to handle that exceptional condition and then the try. So when you think that, okay, this part of the program or this particular block of program may produce some exceptional behavior or there is the possibility of some exceptional conditions in the particular part of program, we're going to place that particular block of code in our try block. So if it is confusing, don't worry, you know, when we see the example, it's going to be clear. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose is uh, we're going to create two variables and we try to perform the divide by zero exception. So here for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to create two variables and let's say int a and let's initialize this one to a value of 10 and let's say a variable called b and let's initialize this one to zero. And also let's have another variable called C. Okay. Now we try to do A divided by B and we're going to store that in C. So it's going to be C equal to A divided by B. So now this part of the code is going to produce the exception. So if I save this and try to build and run this program. Okay. Before that, just print out the value of C. Okay. I'm going to build and run this program. And now you guys can see exception handling.exe has stopped working. That's because of this 
a divided by b you know the divided by zero exception has occurred and because of that our program crashed as a programmer we don't want to crash our program so what we want to do is if any divided by zero situation occurs we want to handle this situation now we know that this part of my code may produce an exception result when this b value becomes zero so now to handle this exceptional situation we're gonna make use of the C++ exceptional handling mechanism. So first what we can do is we can place this code in a try block. So this try block is used to place the code that we think that might produce the error or the exception. So try and then a block by using the opening and closing curly braces. I'm gonna place this code in the try block. So here this statement may produce an exception. So the next thing is if the exceptional situation occurs then we need to throw the exception. So here the exception situation occurs only if the value of b becomes 0. So we can check that by using if b equal to 0 and then we want to throw an exception here. So to throw the exception we're gonna use the throw keyword so it's gonna be throw and then and then we're just gonna throw a string specifying that divide by zero error has occurred so it's gonna be divide by zero error so now we have placed the code that might produce the exception in the try block and we have checked for the condition that might cause the exception and if that condition satisfies at that time we have thrown an exception the next thing is we want to handle this exception so if this exception occurs we want to handle it to handle the exception we can use the catch so we need to use the keyword catch and then a pair of parentheses and here you know the exception is of type const char that's why we're gonna specify that here the same type const char star and e okay let's say e so this is the exception type that we want this catch block to handle so here we're gonna write a particular block of code that's gonna handle this situation what we want to do is we're gonna tell to the user that okay, some exceptional condition has occurred you know the divide by zero situation has occurred so for that I'm gonna use C out and I just gonna say exception occur and let's end this line and then we're gonna print out the message which is thrown which is you know divide by zero error so that is present in this E and that's it then add the semicolon all right now if I save this and build and run this program now you guys can see exception occurred divided by zero error so here you know the exceptional situation was this divided by zero error and we have placed the code that might produce the exception in this try block and then we have throw the exception using the throw keyword and also we have return the exception handling mechanism or the code to handle the exception in the catch blocks and also what happens here is you know when this exception is thrown the control will be directly passed to this catch block you know the statements next to that will not be executed and that's why you know when we throw this exception you know this two statements will not be executed and the control will be directly transferred to this cat block and the code inside that cat block will be executed so we can say that we're gonna use the try block to place the code that we think that might produce an exceptional condition and then to throw the exception we're gonna use the throw keyword and to handle the exception that has occurred we're gonna use the catch block so now you guys may ask me like okay dude why we have to use this try and catch and throw here you know we just can check that by using if b equal to zero i can specify to the user by using the c out that you know the divide by zero error has occurred else you know i can execute this code here you know using this try and catch is the c plus plus way of handling the exceptional situations in your program and also you know 
this is a very simple example but if you talk about the complex example you know like i have explained about the databases and in that complex programs you know it's very difficult to use only if and else and handle the exceptional situations so here this is the c++ way of handling the exceptional situations so this is it guys this is about some introduction to exception handling in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and in the next tutorial we can learn something more about the exceptional handling in c++ and i'll see you in the next tutorial